guys welcome back what we have here is a party barge 22 pontoon boat and a alpha one stern drive here made by mark cruiser now uh so the owner of this boat he was driving down the water and uh i guess he hit a huge stump in the water and now whenever he tries to steer the thing it'll steer all the way this way but it'll only steer to maybe about like right here on this side so um i'm guessing it's the gimbal housing is bent in here um or something like that so we're gonna have to take this whole stern drive off all these hydraulic lines which is when it looks like it's bent and um bunch of other little things going on with it we got some wires and hoses that are kind of messed up so let's get to tearing into it and see what we find so let me show you what it does i'm gonna steer it one way all the way and i'm gonna steer it the other way all the way and uh, you'll see what i'm talking about So as you can see, this thing barely goes this way, but it will go all the other way. So not only that, this prop looks pretty bad. I mean, well, no, not terrible, but I mean, it's pretty banged up. All right, let's get this thing taken apart. All right, so one of the first things you want to do before doing this is uh, make sure the um, gear shifter is in drive you'll see what I'm talking about later in the video there's a piece in here that has to be in drive in order to slide this thing off That axle was stuck in there pretty good. Looks like it took one of the overings with it. So as you can see, there's a lot of damage in here. The speedometer hose, the trim sender cables here are, are all just cut and damaged. I believe it's the same on this side too. I did find the o-ring in there and it is missing on the shaft here. Okay so I removed the pin out of the steering arm here and uh, I tried to turn the steering wheel and it will not go in farther than this. So actually I don't think the gimbal housing is bent in any way. I think it has something to do with the steering ram or steering wheel or assembly 
So I'm going uh, to finish removing them and try and take these bolts out right here and um, get that ram removed. Another thing, I can't believe this thing wasn't filling up with water in the engine bay because the sealant is complete junk. I'm not seeing any problems down in there. So it's got to be with the steering wheel or in this assembly right here. Okay, now let's see if that proves my theory correct. So, we should be able to go all the way that way. Now let's see if we can go all the way the other way, which we can. Yeah, so yeah, we can go all the way, which before we couldn't go this way. So something's going on with our steering. Okay, I think I found the problem. So I moved this back here, and as you can see, this thing is cracked and bent. So it looks like, yeah, he hit a log and something came and hit this and bent it, so now this can't slide all the way um, like it's supposed to. We might could bend that back, but I don't know, it, it probably needs a new one. Thing's bent pretty good, it doesn't want to slide off. See how that was bent right there? I just couldn't, I just couldn't get it uh, bent back straight. And also this is bent too.
All right, let's see if we can get some of this, some of these trim sensors fixed because it looks like we got some of the green death on on these wires and they are in pretty rough shape. like we got one that's probably gonna break off in here We got a bunch of new parts in. Got a new one of these guys, some gaskets, new trim senders, and we got a new steering kit. This is made by Vivor. The first thing you want to do, take your old steering cable and your new one and put them together and make sure they're the same length, which they are. So now we can go ahead and start installing it. I'm probably not going to use that steering wheel. I'm going to use the original steering wheel so it matches the boat. But let's go and start feeding this new cable through. steering rod here fits nice and smooth with uh, no binding before it was bent so bad in here that wouldn't move so that should fix our problem
So I really don't know what to do. I don't know if I should use this new steering wheel or if I should use the original steering wheel. This one's kind of, you know, dirty looking and the new one's new, but this one also matches the boat. So I think I'm going to just put the old one on and I'll give the owner his new wheel if he wants to put that on. I can feel it going all the way, turning all the way, each way, left and right, so. Got some new trim senders here. Starboard side, and we got a port side. So our starboard side is basically where the driver, driver wheel is on our right side of the boat. Our port side would be on the left. I'm gonna get these wires out without taking this whole assembly off. So we're just gonna cut them and uh, solder them together.
All right, let's get this uh, hydraulic hose straightened up. I guess when it hit the tree, it bent it pretty good. turn because it's creased right on it here. Alright guys, so we got all the steering issues fixed and all put back together. Got our trim senders adjusted. The correct length here is about 20 and 3 quarters, fully up. So we got that set right. Um, I didn't really go through the process of uh, setting these things. There's other videos online that show that. It's a little complicated, but not too bad. Um, but there is one issue that I did not mention and that is our starter might be bad. So whenever I turn the key, it just kind of clicks. I try jumping the solenoid and it's kind of like the, the solenoid on the starter is clicking, but the starter is not doing anything. The motor I don't believe is locked up because I could turn it uh, by hand with a wrench on it. So um, let's go ahead and get the starter pulled and see if we can figure out what's going on. So this starter is an absolute pain to remove. I don't know if you guys can see, but the bolts to it, there's a bolt right here, but it's underneath the starter. So like, there's no room to get to it. And same on this side right here, it's underneath it. This one, hopefully is not that bad. This one looks like it's gonna be pretty difficult though. Hopefully that's the only other two bolts I gotta get out, cause yeah, that's gonna be a job. What are you doing over there, girl? You trying to get over there in the water too? <laughs> you going fishing? Or are you looking for the ducks? Huh? You getting all muddy, girl. <laughs> Crazy dogs.
starter doesn't look bad at all. So, I don't know. We'll see if it works. All right, we got our starter hooked up here. And see, it's not working. It was just barely spinning a second ago. Let's see if we can. Yeah, that thing is locked up. There's something going on with it. It just spun a smidge. Yeah. So I'm gonna take the starter apart and see if uh see if I can fix it. Alright, let's see if we can fix it. Doesn't feel too good in there. Yeah, that thing, uh... Oh, wow. Yeah, that thing's definitely bad. Looks like it got water in it. Lots of corrosion. Let's see if we can get this cleaned up and maybe we can get it to work again. Get this grease cleaned out and clean it up, but got that all freed up nicely. Try it out. And there we go. All right, let's crank this pig up. Get this thing cleaned up and uh, get all these leaves out of it. And we'll take it for a ride on the water.
all cleaned up. Could probably use a good pressure washing. So I uh, decided to go ahead and install a automatic bilge pump. So uh, the whole thing doesn't fill up with water here. I'm just kind of finishing it up right now, getting the wires ran. I don't know if you can see it down there, but um, it's automatic, so you don't have to turn on any switches or anything. If this ever fills up water, it's gonna automatically pump it out. There's also a manual bilge pump here. Um, so, you know, it's basically redundancy right there. So let's get all this finished up and we'll take it on the water. I also tried to straighten up these wires the best I could. I mean, they're better than what it was. Still not great. There were some blown fuses there also replaced too. All right, we're all finished up wiring up the bilge pump. Now we just gotta connect this uh, air vent right here to our opening, but I gotta close this up, so we'll be finished. So guys, we had to cut our little boating adventure short. We ended up getting about halfway through, we noticed a little bit of water getting in the hole here. It wasn't much, but it was a, a decent amount. And then about 15 minutes later, the engine started sputtering and we opened this uh, top up and it was just completely pouring uh, in it. And this, Thankfully, I added this other bilge pump, this automatic bilge pump, because it saved this engine. I mean, it, it really did. So what happened, well, if you guys remember, the starter was corroded pretty bad, and that was a red flag. And also, there was a lot of water down in the hull, which was also another red flag. So come to find out, the freeze plug on this motor failed somehow. Either it rusted, or it froze and broke but as we were driving it, it it failed completely and it was definitely failing before and that's what allowed the water in the hull when I first started working on this uh, so yeah we had to kind of limp it home and the whole time this uh, bilge pump was really working overtime so I'm glad I put that in but um yeah so if you guys have any tips or tricks on how to replace the freeze plug it is right behind this flywheel cover here so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have to pull the engine i don't know if i have to pull this whole assembly off or not the stern drive but um yeah it's definitely gonna be a job i might make a video of it i might not i don't know yet but as far as everything else goes the steering and all the work i did works great uh, no issues with that. 
um, that was working really well but uh yeah so I guess this is gonna be the end of this video for now and uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and uh, watching the video and I will see you guys on the next one so y'all take care later